we've known for many years that people with diabetes are generally at slightly greater risk of developing infections. And we presume, although the data are not really there yet, that those, that's true also for coronavirus. But again, I would say and emphasize that there is relatively good news for our younger people with diabetes, uh, often with type 1 diabetes, uh, and that is in China and also in Italy. Nobody under the age of 25 with diabetes has been admitted to hospital. So this is reassuring. I think for older people with diabetes, the most important thing is blood sugar control. And the studies just out of Wuhan suggest that, firstly, the average age of people being admitted to hospital with diabetes was 66. But those whose blood sugar control is not as good do not do as well as those people with good blood sugar control. So I cannot overemphasize for all people with diabetes at this very difficult time we find ourselves in, the importance of looking after the blood sugars, looking after your diabetes. I think the advice for people with diabetes is not particularly different from the advice we should all be following. And I cannot overemphasize enough personal hygiene. Viruses don't like soap and water. So regular washing of hands for 20 seconds is the current advice, but advice does change. So keep in touch, keep listening to if the advice has changed. Your personal hygiene is of huge importance. Keep away from other people. Other people in your house should also be practicing the same, regular hand washing. Social distancing, the current advice, but it may change, is to try and keep two meters or six feet away from other people. And of course, the importance of keeping blood sugar control, as I've already said, cannot be overemphasized. And this goes along with a healthy lifestyle, a sensible, healthy diet, but also taking exercise wherever that is possible. If you have a private garden, of course, that's the opportunity. If you don't, then exercise at home is possible. There are now good websites that are helping people with that. So it's looking after yourself and thinking about keeping distance from other people. The advice is there from all our governments, which is pretty much the same. Listen and keep up to date. If people do feel ill and perhaps have symptoms that might be suggestive of coronavirus, such as a dry cough, a persistent fever, and generally feeling unwell, then the most important thing is, first of all, contact their healthcare professional, whether it be a hospital diabetes doctor, whether it be primary care, a diabetes nurse, whoever you normally speak to. And this can be done by telephone. It doesn't need a face-to-face -face interaction. In general, the same sick rules apply as for other illnesses. Look after your blood sugar. Often at times of stress, you might need more medication because at times of stress, the blood sugars tend to go up. And one stress, of course, is illness. Another one is anxiety. And many people will be experiencing anxiety at the present time. But look after your fluid balance. Drink plenty of fluids. Unless, of course, you're one of those people who has some kidney problem, in which case you absolutely need to contact your healthcare professional for advice about fluid intake. So it's a sensible diet, medication as suggested by your healthcare professional, looking after the blood sugar. Having a complication of diabetes affects many people. What I would say, first of all, is that they may need frequent consultation, but this can be done by telephone. Most people, it isn't necessary for them to come to the hospital. Particularly, for example, in my patients who have had kidney transplant, they're on drugs to reduce the, the rejection chances, so they're at greater risk. And rather than have my clinic earlier this week, I did it by telephone with patients who had had a kidney transplant. And the other is the area of foot complications. And if you have got an active foot problem, you probably do need to be seen. But we've set up clinics in the community so that patients don't come to the hospital. 
because the hospital is potentially the place that is holding coronavirus. So if we can keep people with diabetes and complications away from the hospital, do telephone consultations, and if they need to be seen, we are arranging to see them off-site. So in other words, they're not having to come to the hospital. On behalf of the International Diabetes Federation, I'd like really to express my sincere thanks to all those who are helping in this effort to look after people with diabetes, to look after other people who are coming to the hospital, whether they be doctors, nurses, ward assistants, cleaners, and the pharmacists and those delivering drugs and those who are slightly putting themselves at greater risk. So thanks to all of them from the IDF.